binder. It's the sync manual. I was kind of banking on that being a bit more interesting to start us off. Anyway, hello everybody. My name is Mitsu Madoi, I'm a forensic scientist from the World Mysteries, and we are here... ...the next episode of Eye of the Somnium Files. Hello, Cory. Are those, are, th are those reindeer? Put that shit away. Christmas Eve is still tomorrow. It's not Christmas yet. Oh, it's almost Christmas, but almost Christmas means it's not Christmas. Thank you very much. Anyway. When we left off last episode, we had just finished. It's either... Cory? Cory, you are, you are getting... You are a fan ice. I mean, you're probably used to that, you are a penguin. Anyway. Also, hello, Nana. When we left off last episode, we had just dug our way through Mizuki Somnium. And uncovered... Her memories of the crime, and also her ability to speak. We did it, we fixed the trauma. Anyway, the important bit of what all we got out of all that is that we did confirm that Mizuki saw someone lurking in the shadows at the crime scene. Uh, the odds of that person being the culprit are honestly probably one in a million, but it's the only lead we've got. So I guess we should probably go look at that. So. The automobile. When -na 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 I saw a suspicious figure in Somnium. I couldn't be sure of its exact location. And I brought Mizuki along to help pin it down. Somewhere around here, right? Yep. Uh, okay. Alright. Past the bush. The promised land awaits. Mizuki, how you holding up? Means he's looking behind the bush. What do you care? Um, quite a bit apparently. You never cared about me ever. Okay, to be fair, I did learn about your existence for the first time last week. That's not my fault. And I liked it that way. I don't want you getting close to me. If you look really closely, you can pinpoint the exact frame where his heart breaks. You think I like you now because I hugged you after the sink? Did you think, aw, how sweet, she likes me? My team likes me. They really like me. Don't get it twisted. She, where have I heard that before? I only hugged you because you were standing right in front of me. Could have been anything. Could have been a pole or cactus. In fact, I wish it were a cactus. So stop worrying about me, okay? So she says. All right, you got anything for me? Yeah, I do. What do you remember? I went to this amusement park when I was little. Is that relevant to the Moida? I was four. I remember it so clearly. This is where I saw my mom and dad smile. For the first and only time in your life, no doubt. I had so many happy memories here. The only happy memories I really have are from here. Memories of my family are so bright and colorful. Wait, you got to have happy memories with your family? That's not fair at all. But now, Honestly. 
This is where mom... Dot dot dot. Gee, Mizuki, what's wrong? Why don't you chin up a little? Go ahead and turn that frown upside down. Nothing. Okay. I'm just wondering where this goes. Why? Tom, what is what what is your major malfunction? I guess he's looking into the bush, or maybe behind it. Yeah, she's not gonna be talking to me anymore. Alright. I would be lucky enough to get footprints that are still usable after that rainstorm. Iba, what's past here? Probably not. Honk always sounds like some kind of sauce or some kind of root vegetable, one of the two. This leads to the subway. A subway? It has of course closed down. It is no longer in service. Oh, abandoned subway tunnels. The easiest and most convenient plot device for the quick escapes of them all. This is due to the explosion at the chemical plant that occurred years ago. That would also explain how they were able to move the body without getting caught on security cameras. I think... If the body... If the entrance is close enough to the, um... Place, the old amusement park... Sounds like it'd be a bit of a walk, though, to be carrying a human corpse the entire time. The surrounding district of Kawasaki was contaminated and declared off-limits. Bloom Park closed for the same reason. As did all commerce and industry in Kawasaki. This means the railroads and public transportation to and from this area were shut down as well. And I'm sure that caused massive scheduling delays in the entire rest of the network. The subway. Man, did they use those neurons? Iba, does the entire track run underground? No. The track leading northward from Bloom Park eventually rises to ground level. At a railroad crossing? Correct. Then the tracks must cross a surface street at some point. Correct. Railroad crossing. Railroad crossing. Mel Gear! But it can't be. Iba, do me a favor. Can you see if any cars were driving on that surface street last night? Searching. Hey, you've been quiet for a long time. Are you okay? I'm never okay, Mizuki. I'm just thinking. I've got something. I picked up a single vehicle traversing that street last night. All right. Now I gotta lock the culprit one if use their own car, but... A black SUV. I ran the plate through the vehicle registration database to find the owner. Who was it? Shoko Nadami's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Okay, well now I'm certain he's not the culprit. Renju Okiura. That musical sting was very good. I appreciate it. The did do you like I, 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 come on come on I wasn't prepared for that one it's fair. So let me get this straight. You think that Daddy drove his car on the tracks through the tunnel, stopped at the closed down station, and carried Mom's body to the park? I really want to throw that dude under the bus. Uh, evidently. Now, depending on how his inevitable murder is carried out, it might not be that simple. Doubt they're going to toss us a nice, convenient, wrapped up in a bow suspect this early on. I can't prove it was Renju. There's a chance someone else was driving the car. Pretty good chance, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. But. In any case, I know that the suspect must have used the subway tracks. 
Now yeah, this mystery didn't last as long as I expected. That explains why there were no cars parked near the scene. Using that subway station, you could take the body right to the merry-go-round without being caught on camera. Daddy didn't do it. An SUV would probably be big enough to commit a murder inside. With, you know, decent enough movement for ability to pull off whatever specific eye gouging tricks you wanted to do. Of course, it's also not that difficult to move a body into a car. It's rather famously simple, actually. I am not so certain. Yes, well, you're a computer. What do you know? Either way, I have to talk to Renju. And you can help me find him. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? A steering wheel. My god. The center console. Oh my god, stop! I can't get all this information at once, game! Anyway, uh, Mizuki, your mother was murdered, and uh, we're about to go arrest your father. How do you feel right now? Can you help out with the Nile message now? Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? Yeah? I mean, can you argue he's wrong? It was a message sent at 805 last night. Does this sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Man, that is some impressive bluffing. You have quite a poker face. I mean, you, you only have a few stock facial expressions, so I guess that checks out. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. Well, if it was in... For the sake of a murder, he wouldn't have used his own phone, now would he? But I didn't want to say anything, because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... So you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I mean, credit where it's due, you are 12. That strikes me as fairly normal, actually. I had to go. But you invited Oto along. District. As we've established. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime right there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. Point. You got anything more to add on to that? But it couldn't be him. Why not? Daddy couldn't have sent the message. Someone else must have used his phone. I mean, I told him he shouldn't have made his password 1234, but does anyone listen to me? And his car! Daddy wasn't driving the car either. Somebody else did it. The killer did it, not Daddy. The only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. Yes, well, how solid is that evidence, I wonder? The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okiura. On my my Joy-Con chose this moment to disconnect. Right there you go, you son of a bitch. Get back in there. How are you holding up, Chief? I think about a week ago. When I went to hang out at Lemnus Gate. Did you notice anything different about him? Like, had he changed his glasses? dyed his hair, done anything to make himself look less like Lady Yagame. Nothing really. He was the same as usual. Like in a good way or in a bad way? He didn't come to see you in the hospital, did he? No. Not even for his own daughter. He's a bweezness man. That is very unusual. He's got bweezness. I don't remember. It was a while ago. What about you? What about me? 
Yeah, what about me, huh? You think I'm your dad now, huh? You try calling him. I did. I called earlier, and I tried a few times last night. But unfortunately, he's already dead by this point. And he didn't pick up? No. Uh, ring, 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 ring. Phone call, phone call. Connected. Hey, I just got the report from Ima. Us. Red shoes a suspect? He's definitely suspicious. Renju is in fact suspicious. But not like that suspicious. I think he's, he's actually the guy. But well, what, what did you think I was gonna say? I agree. I think he's our number one suspect. <laughs> he's number one. No, don't do that. He's number one. Did you hear that, chat? That means he's special. Been a bit weird, isn't it? He didn't come see Mizuki in the hospital, won't pick up his phone, and he vanishes after questioning. You know what could explain all that? If someone stabbed him. He doesn't have an alibi for the time of the murder either. I mean, the time of the murder was, what, after the work away? He's actually Schmitty Warp and Jaegerman Jensen. Yeah, it was his hat, Mr. Krabs! He was number one! And number one at Boogie Land! Doesn't? I mean, the, act, the time of the murder proper was what, 5 p.m.? That's cutting it a bit close. Especially if he's like a fantasy CEO who's like, you know, really busy. Unlike real CEOs, but it's not. Inherently suspicious. Not have an alibi for that exact second. No, not one we can corroborate. Well, what does that mean? I do like how the game will not let me take Dotty's eyes off the road. Always gotta, always gotta keep good driving safety. Gotta keep those hands at ten and two all the time. See bust in my left eye. I by streaming the image in real time. I don't have a cell phone. Never cared for them. But I bet connect to any network in range. The data rates are expensive as all get out, though. That's how I'm able to communicate with HQ. To Misaki, I look like I'm talking to a Bluetooth. She doesn't see what I see. Do you think Aiba has games installed on her? Alright, what I'd like to know is if he doesn't have an alibi you can corroborate, then what is his alibi? Shoko's time of death was estimated to be about 5 p.m. yesterday. Okay, I remembered that much correctly. I haven't gone senile yet. Okay, that's that strikes me as pretty sensible. So, what did he say in questioning exactly? He strikes me as the type. All right, if Peter Gosh turns suspicious, why'd you release him? So Renju was questioned at a local station. That's right. Then why didn't you keep him there? Protocol. Nothing we could do. He wasn't a suspect then, and we had nothing to charge him with. We couldn't hold him. Given it all she's got, Captain, but we can't hold it much longer. Alright. Do you have any leads on this guy? He vanished. <gasps> Do you think Krusty Krab is haunted? This is just the SpongeBob jokes episode. I've been preparing my entire life for this day. 
Benji's house. Don't bother. I had local cops search the place. I didn't find anything. Yes, but local cops don't have supervision, no do they? Where could he be? Alright, I'm gonna hang up now. Alright, boss. <laughs> boss. Let me know if you find something. You too. Keep me in the loop. Beep. Where the hell did Renju go? The murderer must be the hash slinking slasher. The, the, the trash, the, the, the crash singing, the, the, the flash sing, the, the dinging, the sash pinging, the slash ring, the dinging, yes, the hash slinging slasher. Man, these people weren't slashed, they were stabbed. That's like about half of a word's worth of difference. I, mean, I don't know where Renju went, probably to the great beyond. Uh, son? What are you doing? What? Um, sun poke. Or something. Yeah, I don't think my arms are quite that long. Oh, sorry. Oh, Sunfish Pocket. Renju was telling me about that place. It's a maid cafe that he runs. Oh, of course it is. I found it. Approximately 6.2 miles north northeast. Fortunately, this road runs forever, so we won't even have to turn off. In Akihabara. Of course it is. Gas, 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 we gotta step on the gas. Renju is Light Yagami, I'm sorry, but the evidence adds up. I don't think Light owned a black SUV. Or wore glasses, or was a CEO, or is still alive. It just raises too many questions. Can't be. What'd I tell ya? I knew it. I knew it. Anyway, now that music's been appropriately re traumatized. Oh, you know, he's just, just hanging around. Renju. He, is he blue or is that just the lighting? Just given that his car was used, I imagine the time of death is going to come up. Day three. Sunday. Psyokubai. The next morning. Oh god, now Mizuki is going to be re-traumatized and she's going to forget how to talk again and we're gonna have to go back into her song. It's just the gameplay loop now. Yeah, don't we go inside like the witnesses or suspects at any point. It's just Mizuki all over and over again. You look awful. Have you been sleeping any? Nope. My best friend was murdered, boss. I don't have it in me to sleep right now. Sleeping is such exhausting work. Anyways, this Tanuki is still, uh... Alright, we've been over all this already. Of course not. I mean, you don't look it. I still got a mountain of work piled up. Answering to the higher-ups, the press... I'm just taking a little breather. Just psychologically decompressing. Alright, is Mizuki holding up alright this time? 
She's sleeping at the hospital. I mean, she's been through a lot. I mean, she's like halfway to becoming a Batman at this point. They're going That's to give her something. counseling after she wakes up. I see. Her mother and her father. So does the culprit have a grudge against them specifically? As much as I don't like serial killer cases, the missing eyes doesn't speak to us rational motive. I hope she'll be okay. Alright. Give it to me straight, what do we have to work with? You were the first on the scene, so you know this better than anyone, but... Renji was murdered. Damn, I thought for sure he committed suicide. Or maybe died in some sort of tragic accident. No way this is a suicide. I mean, you, you can't say that for certain. And the fact that his left eye was removed tells me that this was the same killer as Shoko. A serial killer. No, no, he's still gotta get one more before he becomes a serial killer. And I'm pretty sure he needs a longer cooldown time between killings. The new Cyclops killer. What? That's the nickname that's been spreading around headquarters. New? Yep, the Cyclops killer too. Cyclops harder. Yes, several years ago. Cuter. There is no point in hiding it from him. He would find out on his own eventually. It's all over the news. These murders have gone viral, so to speak. You mean you didn't hear about it? It was all over the news. My god, it is the hash slinging slasher. The killings from six years ago have continued. The Cyclops killer is back. Six years ago? There's that number again. Is that what you were talking about, boss? Dante's left eye is the prosthetic. I'm kind of paying it on faith that the unnatural glowing gold eye is the um, artificial one here. Knowing anime, I could be wrong, but... <sighs> Fine. I suppose you deserve to know. Mario, what do you think of all this? Eh, I think you're right, Mario. We should wait until we've got more information to work with. Does Peter have anything to say? I kind of trust him more here. Even if he does look like a Team Flare scientist. Renju had his left eyeball removed. So I've heard. Right. Shoko too. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. Damn, he's really onto us. You're missing your left eye. So you steal them from others. I mean, his logic checks out. I don't know what you all are thinking. I'm kidding. Only a joke. I'm too tired for your jokes right now, Peter. Hmm. Actually, you lost your eyes six years ago, correct? Yes, but I don't remember anything from back then. Convenient. I lost my eye and my memories. And some other stuff, too. Like my wallet. And my name tag. I was transplanted into your empty eye socket a year later. Pity if this game had been set five years earlier, we could have had Date walking around with a jaunty pirate eye patch. We have been together for more than five years. Two murders, one right after the other. Which does legally mean this isn't a serial killing, as I've explained. How could I not be? Uh, not to be rude, but why are you here? Am I not allowed to be here? 
I mean, that's not what I'm saying. It's just weird, you know? Like most other things about you. No, I didn't mean it like that. I was here first. I was just talking to the boss about Renju's murder. Shooter looks surprisingly serious. Anyway. Alright, boss, lay it on me. We have a name for it down at HQ. The original Cyclops serial killings. The original Cyclops serial killings. Except no substitutes. To distinguish it from this new one. It was six years ago, in October. Four bodies were found in the mountains of Akikawa Valley. But the decomposition of the corpses were all at different stages. That's only sensible. They were each killed sometime during May to September of that year. But they did have two things in common. I can guess. They were all young women. That one on the bottom right is very fashionable. I wonder what she did for a living. And? Alright, here's the wind-up. Each corpse was missing their right eyeball. Pulled out posthumously. And the bitch. Right eyeball posthumously. That is different. The right eyeball is different from both killings, and the posthumously is, at the very least, different from Shoko's murder. Why don't we make of that? I mean, they did say the original Cyclops killer was dealt with. So it would make sense if this is a different person. But I doubt the game is going to be so cheap as to just say it's a coincidence that we're dealing with two separate killers who both steal their victims' eyes. A few days after the corpses were discovered, the killer sent a statement to the press. Ah, so he's a show-off. I killed them, and they are now my dear companions. Something like that. Mm -hmm. He signed the statement under the name Cyclops. Hence the name, the Cyclops Killer. The Cyclops is a mythological race of one-eyed giants. I would be very surprised if there's anyone in the audience who doesn't know all this already. According to Greek myth, they are the children of Uranus, god of the sky, and Gaia, goddess of Earth. <laughs> I said Uranus. Cyclops were known for their outstanding strength and smithing ability. So the but ironically, the press none of them were named the Smith. Real yes, it had to be. A picture of one of the victims right after she was killed was sent along with the letter. That does seem pretty conclusive. Jeez, no, I... in six years we never got a single trace. And yet, you told me earlier this case was resolved. So maybe Cyclops is responsible for these murders as well. No, that's impossible. It's not true. That's impossible! Search your feelings, you know it to be true. Or maybe you don't. Why? But... But why? Why, though? For one, the original Cyclops killer only killed women. And last I checked, Renju was to women. Renju doesn't fit that profile. Second, all of the victims had their right eyes removed. But Shoko and Renju... ...were missing their left eye. Okay, I'm a step ahead of you on this one, game. The timing of the eye removal is also inconsistent. That too. The original Cyclops killer removed the eyes after the victims were killed. But Shoko and Renju were both still alive. Wow, wow, wow. So if it's not the same guy, what do we make of this? 
I doubt it's something as simple as a copycat killing. The eyes being removed pre-mortem, ante-mortem, is, um, a bit much for a pragmatic killer, as I've said in the past. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by how obscenely wiggly Shoko is in this clip. Uh, wiggle, 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 yeah. Wiggle, 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 yeah. But even so, you can't say for sure this isn't our guy. Maybe they're just doing things a little differently now. He's our guy. Cyclops killer, he's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. Hooray! But do you have another reason? I'm sorry, Date. I can't say anymore. You know, you're being very unhelpful right now. Bullshit, you can't. It's a national secret. How can it be a national secret? I mean, just telling me that at all does narrow things down quite a lot. Date, please, forget about it. Eyeball organization like a cult of eyeball that Iris suggested last episode. I... I really doubt there's any sort of... Well, for one, I don't want there to be any accomplices, because I think that's a really cheap solution to basically any mystery. And two, I highly doubt Kotaro Uchikoshi is going to go out and write a case with a solution as simple as... It was just a cult that, you know, does human sacrifices. Because Daz really lame, actually. And you can quote me on that. I told you already, you don't need to know anything about that case to investigate this one. I find that highly doubtful. The criminal for this case and the case six years ago are not the same. Iba, bring up all investigation records of the original Cyclops serial killings. Enough she outranks you, right? She probably took care of this already. I already had a look through the database while you were talking. Unfortunately, I found no relevant information. I also did not discover anything of note on the internet. Man, that's probably the first time in history that's been said. Only amateur theories. <laughs> Amateurs. All lacking credibility and evidence. Damn it. Alright, anything else? That's all we have for now. Alright, can I leave? Alright. Special Agent Date, we need you to continue your work. You must finish your work, Date. I really like your shoes. I like your shoes too. The shoes in this- I know this is a really weird thing to focus on, but I really like... The way the character designer in this game does shoes. They're all very chunky and hefty, and it looks like if they kicked someone with them, it'd really hurt like the dickens. Or at least like the bow. Right. I think I'll head back to where Renju was found, Sunfish Pocket. We have done basically no actual investigating on this case yet, and I would like to resolve that. Date, you're exhausted. That's alright, I'm a video game character. Why don't you get some sleep before you continue your investigation? Who do you think I am? I can't sleep. That'd undermine my entire character concept. I'm fine. Let's go, Iva. Alright, I'm curious if the victim being hung up from that hook like that had a pragmatic purpose. Or if it was just a matter of showing off. Because with what we've seen of the case thus far, I'd believe either option. Do you like my car? My car. My car. Date, the vehicle is accelerating 2% slower than usual. Yeah, I'm watching my safe driving. It's really misty out. What do you want from me? Did you put anything in the trunk? No. 
Chat, do you ever get the feeling that you're being watched? What about the back seat? Back seat? No back seating. Hello, my child. Mizuki! That little rascal, she's going to look at her father's murdered corpse again. How sweet. Hey, watch out! That's on the road, Jackass. Forward, stupid. Mizuki climbed up to the front and sat in the passenger seat. Girl, put your seatbelt on. What are you doing here? Don't do that. What are you it's doing here? Yeah, skipping the hospital, skipping school. I don't appreciate the difference. Do you, chat? They're probably freaking out over there right now. I'm taking you back. I will turn this car around, young lady. No, don't! Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. You're going to investigate, right? I mean, that was the plan. Take me with you, I can help. Me and my Batman purple gloves. How is a little runt like you gonna be any help? Uh, good question, actually. I'm Renju's daughter. Maybe I'll notice something you don't. Something only his daughter would know. Didn't you tell me last time we talked that you hadn't seen the man in weeks? You basically never talked. I don't know. My daddy was killed. I can't just stay at the hospital. <sighs> Fine. Don't say I never did anything for you. Did we ever go out and get that stew? Kinda want You're stew now. Just promise not to interfere with the investigation. I'm a mystery VN protagonist. What am I supposed to do? Not have a perky female sidekick? I think the universe will explode. Got it. So, how you feeling? Well, I can still talk this time. That's an improvement. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. I do not like this Mizuki. Its smug aura mocks me. Mizuki's psychological wounds have been healed by the sick. Uh, hi, how are ya? Wonderful weather we're having. If you have nothing to talk about, you don't have to say anything. Fair enough. You're an adult, shouldn't you know that already? If you start talking about the weather, it means you have nothing to say. Chaname doesn't seem like the sort of person who has a lot to say in general. Or knows a lot in general, I should say. Damn. So how did you get in here anyway? It wasn't locked, I just opened the door. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Tate, you gotta lock the car behind you. Like, look at how fancy this thing is. It's almost certainly got a freaking push button remote lock on the key. Come on, man. How lazy are you? Why don't your doors have auto locks? I know you like old cars, but you gotta lock the doors. You should be a little more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. Mizuki does raise a valid point. Dante, you appear to be alone in the universe. If you are not more serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. You too? I mean, what are the taxes on this thing even like? Old car, there's an old car. I mean, it's got, it's got, it looks like it's got legitimate wood paneling. It's, it's probably decently old. No, it's more like I don't like sitting still and moping all day. It's not like I want to catch the person who murdered my father or anything, but, but, Baka. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I've grown out of my brooding, pretentious teenager phase. Which is impressive, seeing as how you haven't even started being a teenager yet. Odd thing for a preteen to say. Dad, I get out of my head. Are you not aware of 
Suzuki's mental prowess? She is far more developed than her classmates. Don't say developed. She is even reading psychology papers by Alfred Adler. Sounds pretentious to me. So... You were talking to yourself again. I heard you. It's creepy. You should cut that out. I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to the audience. I gotta do it or otherwise the stream doesn't have any actual poipus. Talking to Ivy before she came in, that's what she was referring to. Mizuki is still unaware I exist. I imagine that's most people. Yeah, I know there's no reason to hide it, since she already knows about Abyss. It's just... Hard to explain. Hi, honey. Daddy's eye is a woman. Would be a bit of a conversation. I won't say anything yet. Understood. But I am ready to be introduced at any time. Just let me know when the time is right. The time has come, and so have I. No need to be so formal. Shit, I said that out loud. Date, how are you so bad at this? Date, I think you should go to the hospital. So, uh, about your limerdeo de Favier. Hey, about Renju. You know that guy? Don't you wave at me. We're Do not you friends. Have anything, to tell me? anything at all that might help? Well, it's not about Daddy, but. I heard from Daddy that Mom had a secret. Shoko had a secret? This car is falling apart. I mean, yeah, look at this thing. It's so... shiny. Probably the outer layer is worn right off. Keep expecting the, the whole thing just to come apart right here on the road. Ooh, secrets. I want to know some secrets. Did you know that mom was the representative of an investment company? Is that a secret? I thought that was just, like, a job. Yeah, I did. That whole company was a big scam. Okay. A scam? A sham! A facade! We've been duped! Bamboozled! We've been smackled orved Well, I don't know the details. I mean... Yeah, it'd be weirder if you did. They start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. She got really rich like that. You'd think eventually they'd catch on to something like that. Shoko did this? Yep. By herself? No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. I saw gangsters there sometimes. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. I am scanning all known crime databases, but I cannot find any reports referencing this. Okay, hey, what do we make of that? They must have been extraordinarily careful. I'm not okay. I mean, it's okay to not be okay, or so I've heard. I mean, I'm never okay. Anyway. So, you want to go back to the hospital? I'd be more than happy to drop you off. That's not what I meant. I mean, it's it's what I meant. That's why I said it. Why are you always so pushy, Date? I don't know. It's it's my prerogative as your designated father figure. I'm not pushy. I'm just worried. You've got a weird way of showing it. Doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. Yeah, well, you know what else is weird? You've always got something smart to say, huh? You're just like Renju. Dante. What about Daddy? Nothing. You have no tact, do you? Uh, uh nope. 
This is why you're single and always will be. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I look like a single father when you're around. Chicks love it. Yeah, chicks love to see creepy old men hanging out with a sixth grader. Hey, what are you implying? Ooh, did I make you mad? Uh, yes, actually. You are not too big to be thrown back in your room, young lady. Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. I am not an old creepy pervert. And even if you were my age, you're not my type. Ew, I don't want to know about your type. Hey, you started Are we even there yet? Jesus Christ, how long is this road? Stupid old man. Punk ass kid. Can we stop by McDonald's? Absolutely not. We are going to our destination, we are getting out, and we are leaving. I told you all to eat before we left. Mizuki and I, Mizuki and I walked back into Sunfish Pocket. Oh, uh, Detective Date. Good to see you, sir. I guess good old officer in my eyes again. And this is... Have you looked through the case file yet? I can't like Maze Keys, it's really cute. It's... So I was right earlier, this is the sort of game where everybody wears like absurd runway fashion that would probably run them five times their entire budget in real life. And she looks at me. Oh, oh I am so sorry. And I look at her. And she looks at me. She's the victims. And I look at her. Yes. Please let us through. Now, right, good evening, Ossifers. This don't look like no maid cafe I've ever been in before. It reminds me of George's yellow coat. Like, like curious George's? Like the man in the yellow hat? Or. Anyways, that Kagami. That's Kagame. I was asking for your name. From it, I haven't seen it in for goddamn ever. My name is Kagami. So it is. It's good to know. So what's your name? It's Kagami. Kagami. I told you, it's Kagami! I told you my name like five times! What, only five? Man, I think your mind might be going, Kagami. Your memory isn't what it used to be. I, of course, remembered his name. His name is engraved in my mind. His name is... Hey you, what's your name? Seriously? It's Kagami. Stop bugging him, it's rude. Excuse you, my best friend uh, Kagami and I are having a conversation. Yeah, Mizuki, don't butt in in a conversation between friends. Yeah, don't spoil our fun. See, we're just doing a bit. What? Hey, anyway, Kagami, have you been sleeping all right? No, not these past few days. I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, all right? You too, Detective Date. I don't think I'm a detective, actually. I'm at least an inspector. Another inspector. I'll be find some clues. What have you got for me? No, we didn't find anything today. Well, that's not helpful. This is fascinating something. Can I can I can I look at the menu? I, I wanna I wanna know what we can order. I wanna know if they have anything that has a secret formula. That could be the motive for the murder. Store signboards at Sunfish Pocket. 
Guess the door to the kitchen. Is there anything of consequence in there? I guess we'll never know. The corpse was strung up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. It's an awfully tactical way to explain it. But no traces of that have been found in the area, nor on the corpse itself. So just like last time, the crime scene and the area that was strung up are different. That does put question to my theory that hanging him might have had a practical purpose. No shit on the floor. No nope, mana. No shits to give this time. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. So does the culprit have like a singular evil lair where he likes to do his fancy eyeball removing techniques? Or is it just a matter of finding places that are dramatically appropriate to display his work? Hmm. Hmm. It must have been considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. What do you mean? Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. Also, also. Now if he stopped by McDonald's, we could have at least check whether he was killed there. I mean, if we found a McDonald's with shit and blood all over the floor, that wouldn't have been that suspicious, now would it? I can estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Don't go looking at people's bones, not I, I but that's rude. There's no shit on Renju's pants, I... Are you sure? Did you check? Because I didn't check. I was a bit distracted at the time. Iba, can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Of course. Alright. Enhance. Enhance. Look at his face. Oh yeah, you know, he's just uh, hanging around. The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. Zendite. Me. Uh, you. Also, hello, Slump. It's good to see you. Hey, hey, hey. It oh, it's a pleasure. Sense. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. I mean, I imagine it would be difficult. I think it's okay. Yeah, I was, I was a bit confused what you were saying earlier. I don't think a human tongue quite has the, uh, the tension force to hang it until you're 158 pound man. But yeah, I suppose this does check out. It would be very difficult to cleanly remove a human eye while the victim was, you know, resisting in any way. And if it was bound in rope or tape, that would have left marks. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. I mean, Renju seems like the sort of person whose cognitive functions were heavily impaired at all times, if you know what I'm saying. Look at that face. That's a face only a mother could love. So sedatives were detected in Renju's body. He was barely conscious before he was killed. Of course, there's the object of interest. His right eye was still intact. Right eye is still there, but the left eye has been pulled out. This case bears similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. Still alive, huh? Renju and Shoko both had their left eye taken before they were killed. The cause of death is obvious enough. There are deep impressions left on his neck. Ah, he's redeemed to hydrate, thank you very much. And a stretch.
Today's stream was sponsored by Municipal Tap Water. <laughs> okay. We have successfully stretched. There are deep impressions left on his neck. Strangulation? If you've got a better theory, I'd like to hear it. Correct. The face shows clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. So... Sounds like an improvised weapon at first blush, but if it works, there's no reason the culprit wouldn't have had one prepared. Can't imagine murder this complicated would have not been premeditated, all else being equal. Oh, I'm not a petechia. Petechia. They, they just said it out loud, but I already forget how to say it. Anyway, they're, they're little... Just like little red or purplish pinpricks that show up in capillaries like burst. Which is a thing that happens when people are getting strangled, especially around the eyes. But also like like Iba said, around the point of strangulation. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. From behind is generally where you go when you want to strangle people. It's not impossible to strangle someone to death from in front, but it's a, a fair bit more difficult, both on them. Like, where the... obviously the person is, like, facing you, they're having an easy time fighting back. And also the, um, you know, the trachea, the windpipe, is up near the front. So you've got to redirect the force a bit more precisely as opposed to just pull back towards you. You know, in case any of you were planning on strangling somebody. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. So in layman's terms, they compressed the blood vessels... And that killed him before he died of oxygen deprivation. If I've got shit correct. Which would explain why you found more petechia in his neck than in his, like, eyes and face. Put more simply, the suspect strangled Ranju to death from behind. Yes, thank you, Iba. Do we have an estimated TOD? Todd? What does Todd have to do with this? I thought he had an alibi. Yesterday, around 8 p.m. It's another time. Or it wouldn't be weird for someone to not have an alibi. Ah, serial killers, why are you the way that you are? So Renji was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. It's not impossible for him to have been the culprit, but considering what happened to him... Renji's approximate time death was yesterday, Saturday, around 8. He was strangled by a cloth or something similar from behind. So the true crime scene must be within a two hour drive from this place. Maybe even less than that, depending on how difficult this corpse arrangement would have been to set up. Uh, the body? The time of discovery was 10.20 p.m. You of course already know this. But you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. Yes, I know. I was there at the time. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. Do we make something of that, or is that just a colorful metaphor? A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. Don't talk about putting thick things in people's upper jaws. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. They're going very in-depth with this. If this were any other story, I'd assume we were looking at some sort of complicated trick. We have found no fingerprints. Yeah, gloves are a thing that exist. 
Andrew's corpse was found hanging from the ceiling. Over the counter. Alright. Table. Table, I can't find any clues on it. Alright, we'll table this discussion for later. Chairs. No, oh, we need a ladder and we'll have a decent wrestling match. This place is up on the second floor. There's nothing out the window. Is that security camera? A surveillance camera? Knowing our luck, it's probably gonna turn out to be a dummy. Uh, did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, no. All of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. How difficult would that be? What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. So there's no footage of the incident. That feels like it should be some pretty solid evidence, but I'm not sure. Anyway, look at these freaking jellyfish. It's a light that looks like a jellyfish. As opposed to a jellyfish that looks like a light, so I'm sure that exists too. Probably not a clue. Dot, hey, it's that sort of... devil-may-care attitude that makes me have to do all the hard work here. You can see the kitchen back there. Nothing looks suspicious. And I looked at the counter. Mizuki, how you holding up? Mizuki's looking at the spot where we found Renju. Hey, are you doing okay? Oh, sorry. Just staring. I noticed, thank you. If you're having a hard time, you can tell me. Come on, talk to Papa. I'm fine. Did we zoom in on the counter? Yes, that was how we looked at the flashback of the corpse. It's not like the body is lying here. I mean, it wasn't lying here when we showed up, either. Yeah, you can... You're definitely gonna yell at me for this, but I feel obligated to point out. I thought I already told you. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. You rotting already? My god, are you... A zombie? Because that's a whole other mystery story. I think you might have taken the wrong turn somewhere. Still. I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene? You think it's totally weird, right? I mean, yes. Not really, I understand where she's coming from. In fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. Yes, yeah, so well, Kaname is a bit of a wimp like that. But this is what I wanted. I didn't want to run away from it. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want... to be weak. I'm not weak. I'm not weak. Alright. What do you got for me from last night? How could I forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. I mean, maybe if you just did a shitload of drugs. Or we could always steal one of your eyes, that worked out for me. Not until the day I die. Anything seem out of place to you? Um... Hmm... 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 Spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I'll tell you if I notice anything. Okay, but do you notice anything? Did you hear me? I said I'll tell you if I see anything. Jeez, you're pushy. Pushy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. Besides, Date. Hmm? Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was she gonna say? Now is not the time to worry about such things. Is there ever such a time to worry what children think? Anyway. 
I can't harass Kagami anymore. Alright, Barrels, what did you have for me? Andrew's corpse was hung up by three wires. The wires were tied to three kegs. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. That would... Yeah, that would put us above his weight. The numbers check out. Three beer kegs on the floor, each can holds 20 liters and weighs 55 pounds when filled with water. Alright, look at these tags. An evidence marker. It's a little marker that's put up to track evidence at the scene. You uh, didn't need to tell me that. Alright, I'm pretty sure we finished with this place already. Do, do, do. Nothing more to be found here. Look at these pictures on the wall. There are pictures of goyles on display. Probably the goyles that are working here. I thought maybe I saw one of the original Cyclops killer victims up there, but they're low def enough that I'm not at? sure. Creeper. Aw oh, man. I agree. Pictures of maids on display. And the loss of her. The sitch. Do, 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 do. Okay. The officer's guarding the doorway. This officer is also guarding the doorway. Those are the same guy, actually. His club is located on the second floor of the building. It's a really Weird place to bring a body, actually. Unless the culprit was someone who would have had access, which would also explain how they wiped the cameras, I guess? We used the elevator to get here. Iba, can you check the operation records of this elevator? Searching. Is elevators leaving operation records, like, a thing? Found it. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday. It doesn't seem like a thing. It doesn't seem like it should be a thing, either. From 6.30pm until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55pm. So that's... The weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. Alright. Were those barrels brought in from outside? Because... Do they serve beer at maid cafes? Even if they do, I don't know if they, like, have kegs in the back. And... Date wasn't super explicit. But I would imagine, from what he said, they were filled with water, not beer. So if Renju was 158 pounds and we had 55 pounds each, for the, I'm sure the game's going to do this on its own. We had only stopped on the second floor once last night, 855, with about 310 pounds inside. Are you really okay? Yeah, I am. Don't you have an investigation to do? Or are you stalling? I think I've made some good progress, actually. Mizuki acts tough. But deep inside... Okay, what's on the menu? This is important. Store's menu. Dragon's Palace Pasta. 1800 yen. Made with real dragons, no doubt. 1800? Isn't that pretty average? This is average? Store's menu. Anything in here that I haven't looked at? They're not letting me leave, so I'm forced to assume.
Uh, Sorcerer Juan, thank you for following. I certainly suspicion enough to warrant it. Welcome to the stream. Andrew's corpse was found hanging from the ceiling beam over the counter. This is about the limit of what we can deduce from just staring at images. Can I see where we're supposed to be going with this? It was 158. Well, there's a lifesaver. The walls are decorated with life preservers. So we see him. Yeah, there's an oil drum. This oil drum must be some kind of interior decor. The capacity of this oil drum is 200 liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Does that add up to anything? Check inside. All right. My x-ray specs allow me to see your ignorance. It's not all the way empty. What? Is that a blood stain? That could explain how we got in. There's something inside. It's another thing to add to our weight total, too. I stepped up to the drum. This is the oil drum. Dear God. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. Alright. Now take your right hand and put it on the lid. This is... It's not blood, but it looks like something that would have belonged to Renju. This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. How tragic. To imagine something so important could just be stolen away so easily without warning. I really liked that watch. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? Alright, we're in here. I think we've checked everything we need to. Alright. Now, if we want to solve the case, I'm afraid we're going to need to use... Math. Dun, 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 dun. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Hi. Hi, Lon. It's nice to meet you. Mizuki, you ready to leave? I'm ready to leave. What? Well, we aren't done investigating. Going to who? What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. Do you want to talk to... Iris? Yeah. How's your day going? Um, I mean, alright. Playing a pretty interesting game, so that's... Daddy owned Lemnus Skate and Iris works for them. Nice enough, I guess. She used to work here, too. Yeah, the plot thickens. Or, er, er, I guess, a bit. So she might know something. Seems like a bit of a stretch. I'll call her. Beep, 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 beep. Mizuki tried calling Iris. But there was no answer. Look at that array of Fire Emblem characters on the wall there. Any idea where she might be? That's distracting. I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. Alright. Uh, any plays you can think of that I don't know? Well, there is one place. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the Entertainment District? That I doesn't seem like the sort of person who gets out to the Entertainment District much. Daddy used to go to a place called Marvel a lot. Maybe they know something about him. I really didn't want to do this. Yeah. Oda is in here all the time. He might know something. I was afraid of this. I'll call him. Ota's phone is broken. He dropped it in a puddle. 
Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. Oh, Ota. Literally everyone hates you. We'd have to talk to him in person. Of course he's in here all the time. Yeah. Honestly, I'm more surprised to find out that Renju owned a maid cafe in the first place. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. I couldn't imagine. Alright. Now, quickly. To the idiot mobile. Lemnis Gate, Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Let's head out. Okay. Let's bounce. I don't believe that was particularly in doubt, John, but uh, fun, but uh, thank you for spending the points, I guess. Alright, I'm actually most interested in going to Golden Yoker Show, partially because it's just a place we haven't gone yet. Partially because I don't want to risk running into Oda. Murder. 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 Most foul. Well, we did discuss earlier that the victim was covered in shit. That would be pretty foul. Anyway, if nobody has any other opinions, I think we'll swing by Golden Yokocho first. I was about to say, even though it looks like a bit of a drive from where we are now, but I don't actually know where uh, the sunfish is on this place. It's not highlighted on the map. Show that. All right. And now we're here. It's Sunday. Unfortunately, we don't get any days off. Just like in real Is life. It? Yeah. This doesn't look you like the sort place? of place. Yeah. This is where I met Renju for the first time. Doesn't look like the sort of place you'd expect to see from an entertainment district. Especially not directly across the street from the Phantom Queen or whatever that other place was called. Interesting. Didn't think this was your kind of spot. This place is special. You can find all sorts of shady characters here. It's the best place for gathering information about a case. So that's why. That is only a partial truth. Yeah, the rest of the truth is that Dot is actually an unexpectedly hip and happened cat, yo. Shut up. Shut up your face. Huh? Let's head inside. Alright. Will they have a little... That didn't sound like it. I was wondering if they'd have like a little... Where is everyone? ...ringing bell hung above the door so they would know when people came in. Must say, the inside and the outside have a very different feel about them. It's been like this for a while. Not many people come here anymore. Especially not in the middle of the day, I'd imagine. Mama should be here soon, though. Okay. First, you must acquire a taste for freeform jazz. At 6.10 p.m. yesterday, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo. A traffic collision occurred, involving five cars and at least one truck. Oh my god, truck, what have you done? MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. Yeah, good talk. There's something on the counter there. They're not letting me look at it. Oh well. Uh, what do you have on tap? Man, I could use a drink. No, you're driving. Can't you just drive? Indeed I can, but I refuse. But I refused. Why? Nothing good comes of you being drunk. 
There are bottles of alcohol on the shelves. Just, just pure, raw chemical alcohol. There are bottles lined up on the counter. Let's count them. One bottle of beer on the wall, nine bottles of beer. There are nine bottles on the counter. And I don't think any of them are actually of beer. How disappointing. Just kidding, there are 18. That's how many there are. Let's count carefully. There are 18 bottles lined up on the counter. One, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, yeah, he was, he was right the second time. Being accurate about these things is important. The bar counter. A flyer. What's it a flyer for? Never explained. There's a poster on the wall. The talented Mr. Dickley. I don't know what that is. It's a really unfortunate name, that's what it is. The specials are written on the chalkboard. Slippers in tomato soup. Now what, you couldn't be to come up with more than one funny name? How disappointing. What's on the menu? It has writing on the back. What does the writing say? We'll never find out. Beer tap. I just want to be sobriety impaired. Allow me to ruin your stupid joke before you say it. It's not stupid. I mean, it's a little stupid. A beer tap. Imagine this is the first thing that caught everyone's eyes when we stepped in here. A picture on the wall. It's a little odd. Anything in the back? A sofa? Not anything I'm done here. Mizuki is sitting next to me. Mizuki is still sitting next to me. So, uh... Need to tell me about the victim. Hey, Date. What did you and Daddy used to talk about when you were here? I can't imagine. Hmm. <laughs> hey. Don't you hey me, I young man. A lot of it. I was usually drinking pretty hard. Don't worry. I have everything recorded. Man, that's convenient. In fact, the conversation about you taking care of Mizuki took place here, at Marble. Really? The topic was brought up several times afterward, but the first time was here. Four years ago, after drinking enough lit with courage, Renju asked you to take care of Mizuki. You know, Renju being drunk off his ass would explain why he thought Date was an acceptable father figure. At the time, Renju was recently divorced, buried in work at Lemnisgate, and mentally unstable. As opposed to now, where he's long divorced, buried and working in Lemniscate and mentally unstable. And dead. It was a display of excellent judgment. It was a good thing that he managed to swallow his pride. You think so? Sometimes, I don't think it was the right move. You should have more confidence. I mean, the girl just hates your guts from the bottom of her soul. That's not proof of anything. I guarantee you that it was the best decision. Let's hope so. You holding up all right? No. And what do you mean by that? Nothing. Just let me know when you're tired. You can go home anytime you want. You aren't really worried about me, you just think I'm annoying, right? Yes. Don't beat around the bush, just say it. But you know what? It wouldn't matter anyway, because I'm not going home. Did what? Sat at a table together like this. We haven't eaten dinner together in a while. 
Hmm. After I finish working on this case, we should do it again. You already promised her stew, Date. Eh? Did you ever get around to that? The stew is the most important plot thread in this case. I swear to God, I'm never gonna stop asking about it. Why? Because of what happened to my mom and daddy? I mean, among other things. I don't need that. It's not about that life. Date, this is where you need to take a stronger role as her guardian. You are a computer. Nothing good comes from taking your advice about parenthood. Data suggests that children who eat alone are prone to mental imbalances and poor physical condition. The meals you prepare do have sufficient nutritional content. However, you need to make sure that Mizuki is eating all of it. Otherwise, your effort is wasted. Why don't we just put her on an IV then? That should have solved the problem. I told you I don't want to. Why not? Because... Uh, I don't like how you hold chopsticks. It makes me sick. You don't use chopsticks to eat stew, Mizuki. It's not the way I do. I don't know what you're about. Really, no. People have always told me that I have good technique. Some even say it's beautiful. It's disgusting. Too clean. Besides, there's no point in eating together. Why is that? Because you don't talk when you're eating. I don't like sitting in silence. Well, we don't have to be quiet. It's fine, I don't like hearing you talk either. I believe she has entered her teenage rebellion phase a year early. Oh, this is gonna be rough. So how's that local sports team, huh? It's okay. Okay, okay. Is it? Yup. Do you have a lot of friends? Yeah. But I don't really like my elementary school friends. They're too immature. I have more fun with Iris and Ota. I don't know if they're too immature. You're just very mature for your age. It's probably all the trauma. You think so? The kids at school are so stupid, they gossip about who had their first kiss for days. I don't see why that's anyone's business. I mean, I don't know, if someone's first kiss lasted multiple days, I think that'd be impressive. These grade schoolers move fast. Nah, not really. It's pretty normal nowadays. You... You haven't kissed anyone yet, have you? No, I'm not interested in that. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God, someone else. Date, honey. Long time no see. Hey, Mama. How have you been? Oh, tired and sore, but not in a fun way. <laughs> Watch the innuendo in front of the kid. Oh, who is this? Mama. Mm -hmm. Didn't mean to make Renju's you cry. Daughter. If I'm not back again this Hi, time nice tomorrow. To oh, you're. I. Oh, it must have been hard. I saw on the news. It's okay, really. Oh, it must have been so hard. Stupid Ren. What was he thinking, leaving his little girl like this? She seems nice. <laughs> I bet you weren't like really present in this scene. Hey, like Mama, I appreciate the contribution. I wanted to ask but... you some questions about Renju. Oh, I guess crying isn't gonna solve the thing, is it? Go ahead, ask away. I'll well, if you insist. Mama is polishing a dried bonito fish. It's part of her daily routine. Can I think I have no idea why. I think I'll ask her one day. When the time is right. 
So, how's business? Not bad. Hey, that's good. I want you to keep this place open as long as you can. Just sell a whole lot of boots in here. It makes me feel sad and old when a place I used to visit closes down. Well then, you should visit more often. I could hook you up, in more ways than one. Just the one way is fine, thanks. So... Renju... Have you heard any rumors about Renju? Anything about grudges, disputes? Uh... Business opportunities, favorite foods... Is it okay to talk in front of Mizuki? Yes, I want to be here. Trust me, I couldn't drag her away. I mean, you probably could. If you say so. Apparently, Ren had some connections with the Kumakura gang. God, that fucking air again. When will I be rid of this monochromatic menace? A gang? Yeah, real rough customers. This is their turf. Wow, a businessman with connections to the Yakuza? Say it ain't so, Johnny. So Daddy was involved with gangsters. Mizuki, that company Shoko was running, were they also tied to the Kumakuras? I don't know. Hmm. Bottles of alcohol on the shelves. Hey Date, you hear the one about the drunk ballerina? No, what about her? Uh, her alcoholism is tearing family apart, it's very sad. She quit the ballet because she was always more interested in tap. <laughs> <laughs> This is a painting of St. Sebastian. Good now. St. Sebastian was a faithful Christian who lived under Roman Emperor Diocletian. Good to know. On January 20th, 288 AD, he was martyred. Good to know. This painting depicts his execution. Good to know. Something wrong, Date? You're staring awful hard. Nothing. Just caught my eye. Why now of all times? That's been hanging there for a while. Really? Yeah, it was a gift from Ren a while back. Interesting. I've always had it there. Painting of Saint Sebastian? Apparently it was a gift from Ren. A poster? One flew over the cock's nest. Sounds familiar, but I don't know what it is. Oh, it's just changed since the last time I looked at it. How interesting. Yeah. So, was there a regular here? Would everyone have known where to find him? I haven't seen him for a while. I thought I was going to shrivel up and die of boredom without you boys around. Shrivel up? You look like a purple water balloon. <laughs> That's right. Care to give me a poke? I'll pass, thanks. Uh, anything on your mind, Mizuki? I heard that shady characters hang out here. So who are you and how do you fit in? No one special. I'm just a facilitator. She facilitates shady characters interacting with each other. A facilitator? People who come in here tend to have very specific interests. I help accommodate. Come on, come on. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Mama's like, uh, an informant. That's right. And I won't charge you this time. 
Just promise to get the bastards who did this to Ren for me. Yeah, we're lucky. Ordinarily, she charges a hundred thousand yen per word. Right. This is for Ren, I Promise. Not really. That's nice. Oh, don't worry, honey. I don't bite. I'm only aggressive when it comes to men 20 through mm, 65. Cast an awful wide net. That's a pretty wide range. Gotta widen my net for a catch like you, Date, honey. It's very, very pretty. Uh, if you say so, I think it's a bit gaudy. But then again, this isn't really my scene to begin with, so what's my opinion worth? <laughs> I think I'll ignore that one. I think I'll ignore it as well. I think I'll ignore this too. Yeah, I mean, at some fish pocket they served alcohol, but I've never been to a bar like this. Again, they served alcohol, just raw chemical alcohol, just straight by the bottle. I would hope not, you're in elementary school. Well, Daddy invited me along sometimes, but I was too shy to go. Good call. I was planning on going one day, when I was old enough to drink. I wanted to go to a bar with Daddy. That's going to prove difficult from now on. Anything to report on the sofa? Nope. Gotta sleep now, have a good one, Mitsu. Okay, thank you, Cory. Alright, what else do we have here? Anything else to report about Renju? Well, there was the watch incident. Ah, uh, yes, the incident. I remember that one. Particularly gruesome. I'm sure you remember that one. Watch incident? You don't remember? Oh, he was very drunk. All the time. Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. More important than his life? It didn't look that expensive. What the hell sort of secret dying message do you have engraved on the inside of that thing? He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Was it this watch? Do you mean this watch? I pulled out the watch I had in my pocket. It was the one I found in the oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Ah, that's it. From one pocket to another. Why do you have it? Was it at the scene? I mean, it was his watch. It'd be weird if it wasn't. Ren was given that watch by his lover. His lover being Shoko or... It was an anniversary gift, I think. Lover? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot Mizuki was here. No, it's fine. Not Mi not Shoko, then. But of course, it wasn't an affair. This was all after he was divorced. Daddy had a new lover. It's another name. Said it'd be that simple, but I got it. Take a little piss break, I'll be right back. You remember where it is? Yeah, outside, right? Yeah, I got a toilet in this place? What the hell kind of operation are you running here? This is a small establishment that does not have its own restrooms. That doesn't answer my question. Wait, you're leaving? Oh, <laughs> scared of me, huh? No, it's just... Um... Mama. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Don't have too much fun in there. I probably won't. 
Okay, for right now, in a wave and left. And then we went into a loading screen. Iba, get boss on the line. <laughs> boss. Got it. What's up? Uh, the ceiling. Mizuki is at a bar called Marble down in Golden Yokocho. Send someone over to pick her up. She's not at the hospital? Uh, yeah, she snuck out. I took her along while I was doing some work, but I can't take her any further. Understood. I'll send someone. Counting on you, boss. Hmm, <laughs> boss. Are you going to leave Mizuki here? Absolutely. Yes. I can't take her into a Yakuza den. But we're just going straight to the source, huh? Decisive. I like it. Fortunately, we are in Japan, where the Yakuza all have publicly branded office buildings. Hmm. Excuse me, gentlemen. Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. Oh, we tried. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? Yeah, kinda. You bet. I'll learn you. Yeah. Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? God damn, yeah, so, I didn't even have to... You wanna explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? Uh, do you wanna make your eyes a bit bigger? That's weird. And the flying duckies. Yeah, he- th those weren't just like a visual metaphor. He punched him so hard, those ducks actually spawned into existence. In broke reality, like Superboy Prime. I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's Moma. Warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. You've got a little Glasgow, it looks like. Just a specific design detail, I don't know if I should make anything of it. Alright, Moma. I have a few things I want to ask you. What do you know about the new Cyclops serial killings? You've, uh, call yourself a horse, is that related somehow? Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura had their left eye pulled out and were murdered. And I think you know something about it. Saw it on the news. Well, that does mean you know something about it. That seems awfully suspicious. But we had nothing to do with it. Is that a fact? Even if we did, we wouldn't spill to no cops. You have a nice desk, though. Sheriff's desk. The Kumakura Crest. You understand if I'm going to spend the rest of this playthrough waiting for them on where Moma just grabs his his entire suit by the shoulder, rips it off in one setting, thus revealing his back tattoo. A Shinto Shrine. It's kind of frightening seeing all these lanterns lined up. Scary lanterns. Scary lanterns and nice sprites. Scary lanterns. You don't have to repeat it. There are lanterns with Kumakura written on them. Scary lanterns if I left things. Hey kid. I'm computer. A guy like the chairman need this for. He probably just uses it for porn. Probably. Not every man in the world is like you, Date. Is that Skrillex reference the year of early 2022? I don't know, was it? PC, but... No, that is a monitor, I think. It's at a really unfortunate angle and against the same colored computer tower. Why is your tower on top of your desk, man? 
Get some more good news of space. A bronze dragon. The trial of the dragon. Bronze dragon holding a golden ball. Stop talking about golden balls. Golden ball, huh? Yeah, what's behind this door? A chair. A desk. Probably belongs to someone in the gang. A ton of stuff on top. Lockers are lined up on the wall. It's a partition set up by the doorway. Probably to obscure the view from hey, visitors. It's pronounced partition and not partition. I know how it's pronounced. I mean, he's right. There's a partition set up by the doorway. Guess you could say that it's the drag. I mean, you, you could if you wanted to be really obvious about it. They're specifying that the door is made of metal. That's interesting. The fat one. He's holding his stomach in pain. I got nothing to say to you. You want to do this again, old man? So it was a skinny one like dead now he's over there. Like your knife. There would be no point in talking to him in that state. I mean I could try. That's not illegal. Skinny one, he's completely out. Oh you see the young have the white board while the nice kind of the old mama has a black board. It's like inverted. Uh huh, you see? You see? Clever. Last month's schedule is written on the board. 21st. Ikakin's beatboxing for beginners. That's nice to know they have the fun. Got a permit. The company philosophy on the wall. If you accidentally enter a bar instead of a restaurant, don't feel obligated to order a drink. Even if the bartender gives you that order a damn drink look. That's quite the motto. Company philosophy is like a summary of the ideals and goals of that company. I like that motto. It's, uh, very telling. I don't know what it tells, but it tells the hell out of it. There's another locker near the window. This isn't like just a pattern drug. This is a real tiger. The boss murdered it with his bare hands. Hey, I have a look. A flying squirrel taking a nap. It is clearly a tiger. I don't think it was that clear. Alright, anything. No, no evidence in the ashtray. Alright, Mama. What's your story? So, you don't look like a chairman. What? The chairman is right in front of you. No, you're not. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. Yeah, she. I run this operation, she. I'm the head honcho, she. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. Man, what a life he's led. You aren't the chairman. Tate, what do you think? Yo, asshole! You need a lesson in manners? Rohan... K Kishibe? Yeah, he's just doing a real deep dive. He's just doing research for his next big manga. It's about Yakuza. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. So why do you know him, Date? He leapt to his death from the roof of a building. That's an unusual way for a Yakuza patriarch to die. Suicide. 
But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Six years ago. Oh, that just raises further questions. So, we know you know Renju Okiora. I told you, I got nothing to say. You deaf or something? Only to lies. <laughs> or something like that. Don't know nothing about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. Oh, she's so busy all the time. Shoko is part of an investment fraud scheme. And I have it on good authority that a certain Yakuza gang was helping her. Wouldn't know nothing about that, cop. Yeah, you'll never take me alive, copper. Date, a minute, please. Talk to me. What is it? Do you see the sofa in the reception area? There is an ashtray on top of the coffee table. I wanted to look at that myself, thank you. What about it? It is peculiar. It is... strange, isn't it? The sofa and ashtray. Deal with Momo later. I should be focused on something else. Alright, alright. Let me actually look at the thing. It is very obviously evidence. Hmm. Wait, a cigarette? A thing that's designed for the express purpose of being set on fire, being warm? Can't believe it. One of the cigarette butts. The tip is reddish. Hey, Iva, can you turn off the thermal vision? Sure. Hey, okay. I see. The cigarette brand is Klein. Do you know Calvin Klein made cigarettes? Why is that relevant? Small details will come in useful later. Trust me. It's a surprise tool that will help us later. Hmm. Alright, now what about the sofa? Enhance. Yeah, not the warm spot. Part of the cushion is still red. Just as I thought. Is that all we got to show for it? What are you talking about? You're the first guest today. So whoever it is, it's someone you wanted to cover up for. Although you are an uninvited guest. Don't lie now. Someone was sitting on the sofa and smoking very recently. How do you know that? Dog, you think cigarettes just don't smoke? Like, like, come on, man. I just do. Wow, you're so compelling, Dante. Alright, I remember now. Just a bit ago, one of our guys was on the sofa. Are you talking about these guys right here? Yeah. Yeah. What, what was that line read? Not possible. It's not but true. In. That's impossible. You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. Who's this asshole? Yep, we got it. Neither of them was on the sofa. Neither of them was smoking. Unusually for Yakuza, now that I think about it. They left. Who left? Uh, an insurance salesman. Imagine trying to sell insurance to the Yakuza. That man was dedicated to his job. I'll give him that much. Right before you came in. I don't think so. I didn't pass by anyone on my way here. And I happen to know this office only has one entrance and one exit. That seems like a security risk. What do you do if there's a fire? Fires happen, Colonel. Which means, whoever it is, they're still in this office somewhere. 
gee, where could a human being be hiding in this room? Let me check the back. Why you want to do that? I just wanted to say hello to our guest. I'm telling you, you're the only one here. Seriously, they're like, they're like little pinpricks. They're like little dots on the whites of his eyes. It's creepy. Oh, then you won't mind me checking. Just get out of here, cop. There must be someone they don't want us to see. It's probably like Mama's daughter or something, some, or maybe a stuffed teddy bear. A stuffed teddy bear that smokes. Because he's been through some shit, yo. Know? behind that wall. Just past that wall. Let's see what's behind door number two. Enhance. Just as I thought. This must be whoever was sitting on the sofa and smoking earlier. A man in a kimono. That already tells us quite a bit. Dressed like that in this day and age. My evolver can shoot right through this wall. That seems like a bit of an escalation. I should shoot him. Wait! Hmm. Is he not getting enough? What? Never mind. The person behind the wall is unarmed. I cannot approve the use of a evolver in this situation. Damn. Why do we even carry this thing? Damn it. Nobody wanna shoot people. Speaking of wild escalations... I can see forever! Now, enhance. Dante, a porno mag at your feet. I see. What? And that was the wrong button. Game, you gotta give me some warning when this shit is happening. Date, keep it together. And also, why is this in Date. this game? You're trying, you're gonna make me, aren't you? Don't know why you're going through the motions, even asking. Date, a porno mag at your feet. Are you going to read this off every time? Because I am not too, too committed to just end stream right now. What? Get out of your fucking system, game. I hate this and I hate everyone who thought it was a good idea. Hey! Did you just shoot at me? How? Hey, whoa, wait a minute! Incredibly normal behavior. Hey, come on, Doctor, hit me. Load a bulber with explosive rounds. This, this is not what I was prepared for when I showed up here today. Aim for the dragon's gold ball on the right. What? Oh, that. Why? Just do it! Is the gold ball like made of trinitrite or something? What, where are you going with this? Cover me, I'm reloading. But I, which, what's, 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 which, which, which button, which button is it? Get game? 
Bang. Funk. You know, before he fell down, he didn't really look like he was hurt. Just kind of mildly perturbed. Everything happened as I simulated it. So, where's this portal mag? Dante, you're a bad protagonist, and I hate you. You idiot! There is no adult magazine. However. I know that your reaction time is up to 3.6 times faster when you are excited. I simply took advantage of that behavior. What the hell? You're a grown man. Aren't you too old to be playing with toys? Shit! Nada, you don't get to try to be cool hey, after that. Hey, coward! I see you. Show your face. All right. This better have been worth it, or I might just cancel the let's play right now. I know you. That makes one of us. That is an interesting facial journey you're going through right there, Date. That's... Sejima, so, Congressman. Hmm. So this goes all the way to the top. What is this guy doing here? And he looks at me. And I look at him. And he looks at me. And I look at him. The man is dead now. It's so Sejima, a member of Congress. I see him so often on TV, it almost feels like I've met him before. What are you doing here? That's nice you have just admit that so openly. I had business nearby, so I stopped here for a visit. Whatever conspiracy theory you're imagining in your head, you can forget it. This is strictly business. It's nothing personnel, strictly kid. Strictly business? A congressman meeting with Yakuza? How are you gonna spin that? It's true. I imagine my public image will be dragged through the mud. I do not like this congressman. His smug aura mocks me. But we haven't done anything illegal. If you want to accuse me of such wrongdoing, then by all means. I just happen to think such gossip is better suited for tabloids. Yeah, you know we're not going to stop here, right? So, Renju Okiura. The president of Lemniscate? So you know him. We aren't friends. But I did meet him a few times through work. What work were you doing to meet up with the head of an entertainment company? The other three points you wouldn't expect. Okay, that's two points you would absolutely expect to overlap, but where does Okiora fit into all this? It was just some party hosted by some company or other. It's not unusual. It's not unusual to find out he's a Yakuza. Events with those uptight stuffed shirts can be rather dull. So they have some young women from an entertainment office attend. Yep, you are not overturning any negative preconceptions I had about your kind today. Anyway, we only saw each other a few times. I don't even remember what we spoke about. And yet you know him by name instantly. That doesn't seem likely. I went to work, then went home. So, you have no alibi? No, I always have my bodyguards near me. If you want to, you can ask them. Bodyguard testimony can be unreliable. I mean, that should go without saying. There is a possibility that they would lie to protect Mr. Sejima. I agree. I can't trust that. 
So we're standing here looking rather irritated. God, you're so short. Why are you so short? It's freaking embarrassing. I heard that the former head of the Kumakuras committed suicide last year. Yeah, what's it to you? I don't know, what's it to me, huh? Nothing at all. Why do you want to know, wise guy? I just want to talk about it. Rohan was my older brother. Jeez, the family resemblance is paralyzing. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. Six years ago, he, uh, he got sick in the head. He got sent to a special hospital. Rip that guy. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. Man has a lot of hair for a man with no hair. That's all I'm gonna say. You want to know more? Hire a private eye. So, as we were saying... I've been looking after that guy since high school. Mm-hmm. Those the usual stuff. Settle it the usual way, eh? I had him help me with a lot of work. But now, it's kind of the opposite, you know? We're getting work from him. Well, we were. You're not getting much of anything now that he's dead, huh? Now that he's dead, though. So you didn't have that great a motive. I don't know how much motive really factors into a case like this. What work did he have you do? Eh, the usual. If Talon at his office was causing trouble or something... You ever get into any disputes with Renju doing this work? No way, he paid good money. I've never even gotten into an argument with the guy. And Shoko, where does she fit into all of this? <sighs> well, I guess there's no point hiding it now. I lied earlier, when I said I didn't know her. Oh no, perish the thought. I thought so. You and the Kumakuras were a part of the fraud scheme Shoko was organizing. Yep. Whenever any wise-ass investors gave her trouble, we handled it. You can just say murdered, like you're already talking to a cop about all this. Exactly as I suspected. Shoko was affiliated with the Kumakuras. Alright, do you have an alibi? Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. Oh, that's my favorite Yakuza substory. Eh? We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You can ask the hotel. They'll tell you. Date, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. Alright, so the Yakuza aren't the culprits directly. That's reassuring, at least. That would've been way too easy. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko. Including Moma. Anything else to report? The victim prior to Renju? I believe Moma introduced me to her. Introduced? Introduced? We were just having drinks. Shoko stopped by to say hello. Right. We didn't talk about anything. They literally did not speak. They're trying to give me the runaround. Indeed. Date, I have determined that these individuals have nothing further to add. We've run out of dialogue options. It's fine. Even if they are involved, they will not volunteer any more information. We need solid evidence to move forward with the investigation. You're right. At the moment, Ota presents our best opportunity for finding leads. I can't imagine that's true. Should we go to Lemniscate? Yeah, let's go. 
MoMA, Congressman Sejima, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'll come back soon. We'll swap drinking stories. Alright, yep. Go ahead. Threaten the Congressman. And the Yakuza in a single sentence. I envision no possible way this could go wrong. You serious? It has a heart attack. Hmm. Let's go, Iva. Roger. Yeah. Maybe later, I think we're done here. Let's just save our game quick like. And that is where we are going to be leaving off this stream. So thank you all for coming in today. As usual. We learned well, we've learned something, I can tell you that much. Can I look at the case file on the next stream? Eh, remind me day of. It cared anybody. So, we will be raiding. Let's see who's on. Yeah, that's it for enough. Hayabusa Sanamoe is playing. Romancing Saga 3, one of those super classic JRPGs that nobody ever talks about anymore. So, until then, I will see all of you in the future tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. It's Christmas Eve. Still technically not Christmas, but you know, close enough. And also, the next day we'll be doing our JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Watch Along. So until then, watch your footprints when you're walking in the snow. Goodbye, everybody. Have a nice day.